Hi everyone. First of all, please excuse my appearance. I'm currently just chilling in my hotel room in my pajamas with my hair on my head and this makeup's been on my face since 7 a.m. It's 8 o'clock and it feels like midnight. I've been awake since 4.30, so um, I've been shooting for the USM Body Makeover campaign today, um, which is obviously really fun and really exciting and it launched at the beginning of March, so I can't wait for everybody to see more of that and I'm super grateful to be a part of that. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to come back, get in my pyjamas and have a cup of tea. But I was also in the mood to do the video that I have been putting off for a while. So I've been meaning to talk about this for a while because it's something that I do get asked quite often. Um, and it's about just ac how do you accept your body post show and how do you accept gaining the extra weight. Um, so my honest answer to this is you kind of have to get over it and buy the bullet. Um, if you're competing and or you're planning to compete then you should and need to understand that you're only prepping to look like that for one day for or for a, for a couple of occasions of one day um, events so you know that it's not sustainable you can't walk around like that 9, 10, 11 months of the year and if you don't and you can't accept it you're going to be unhappy for the majority of the time because it's just literally not sustainable to stay in stage condition all year round so um for me where i actually am a lot happier now off season and having a little bit of extra weight i'm about 10 pounds up from stage weight um, i'm much happier because i am able to concentrate more i'm able to perform better in my training i'm stronger my training sessions are obviously um a lot better than they were in prep i'm able to push my lifts up i'm logging my lifts i'm seeing progress i'm growing my relationships are at their best my business is performing um and there's a lot more obviously than that too um so for me that's what brings me happiness it's not having a certain body fat percentage and being a certain way or looking a certain way um i think a lot of us especially women what we actually want is just to be happy and confident in our own skin but we just don't know where that comes from and we think that that comes with having a certain body fat or being a certain weight and it, it doesn't and i can tell you now being extra lean didn't make me happy um, and it certainly didn't make me as happy as i am now so i think it's more about accepting who you are as a person and realizing that there's more to you than just how you look on the surface um, and obviously accepting that everybody's different some people are going to be lean all year round some people aren't some people are going to have that tiny waist some people aren't um, and it's just about accepting who you are i suppose um, obviously i'm going a little bit off tangent there but one thing that you need to obviously understand is that your body cannot grow so you can't actually make any improvements while you're in a calorie deficit and you're in stage condition um it's impossible really to gain any size or gain any muscle during that phase um, and you might even lose a bit even if you try and stay there as well your body is essentially going to fight against you to try and put a little bit of weight on and it just will end up being very unhealthy so for women to function um hormonally well as well um hormones like so to stabilize your hormones and make sure that they're all in sync um and they're working properly you have to gain a little bit of fat any woman that's ever competed you'll know that it completely throws your hormones out of whack and um that over a long period of time is certainly not healthy um and obviously there's the social side of things so for me having a social life and improving maintaining establishing relationships is another thing that makes me happy it certainly makes me a lot happier than having a full set of abs so um that's another massive benefit of um obviously accepting the post show um stage so you need to kind of treat it as a full 360 and not just being lean and don't become fixated on looking like that um obviously it's amazing and it's it's an amazing achievement to be able to get your body into that shape and to sacrifice and work so hard for that one thing um but 
it's not just about that being your primary focus and your fa primary goal um and it's about having a, an understanding of the bigger picture after after um your competition i suppose um and that's taken a long time for me to understand i mean the first couple of times i competed i rebounded uh, that made me very unhappy so i gained a lot of fat very quickly because i didn't know how to actually handle the post-show phase so i think i sort of ate my emotions basically um so that made me very unhappy but this time around i reverse dieted because it was much more about just being in control of everything um and being happy and enjoying the whole process rather than just getting on stage and getting off and thinking oh well what the fuck do i do now um so I took my own advice and got over it and bit the bullet and now I've gained a little bit of weight and I've done it the healthy way I've done it the right way I'm much much happier I think personally I've had to do it and learn the hard way otherwise I wouldn't learn and it might take you to do exactly the same so it might take you to do exactly the same and learn the hard way but remember I am speaking from personal experience here so um, I kind of did have to learn the hard way but I can tell you now that being stage lean and being stage ready isn't what makes me happy and isn't what my primary focus is because it's not possible to do the whole year and um, so yeah I've learned the hard way but I now understand that to grow and to be at my best, to be at my strongest, and for everything else to be um, at its best around me, I can be in that position all the time. Um, and it's not healthy for my body, it's not healthy for my mind, and it's not healthy for everybody else around me either. So I hope this answers everybody's question that's asked me. I hope I haven't gone round and rambled like I normally do. Um, and I hope this is relatable for anybody that's watching. I've tried to make it a little bit shorter than I normally do. Um, so I don't think I've rambled too much. Um, but if you don't already, subscribe, like, share. And if you want to get at me on any social media, so if you want to ask me any more questions or you have anything that you want me to talk about, then drop me a message and all the links to my socials are in the description. And thank you for watching and I've stuck to my word of posting on YouTube every single week so far. It's only been two. <laughs>